part of this job, um, I'm going to be starting the stairs and this will probably be a multi-part since these stairs, they're so involved with so much different kind of the trim applications that are going into this. So this is going to be a multi-step, this is probably going to take more than one video, but I'm going to try to walk you through each part of it and explain certain things why it was done like that one probably for the ease of application two probably for the preference of the, of the homeowner um, three the availability of materials um, i may have to wait for materials to be shipped in order to finish the next you know come to the next video so what i'm going to do today is I'll show you, let me put you down here a little bit, is the bottom portion of these stairs. As you can see here, these are curved into this wall. And this makes the application, my application, um, further down the road, very difficult. For one, they want a post here, and they want a rail here, which means they need balusters here. If I can put a post here, I have nowhere to dead end my rail. So what I need to do is I need to extend this out. So I have also placed a, now I put my rail here, I also have a place to put my balusters when I put the treads down. So what I need to do is I need to dismantle this, cut this curve up, this has been okay by the homeowner, because they didn't want the curve anyways, you know, the curved look. They wanted, you know, more square because everything in this, in this house is more or less um, um, straight, square, non-routed, and, you know, so anyway, they wanted this to be squared out. And so I need to, what I need to do is I need to cut these off, add to it, to what I need. So it'll make my, my job later on when I go apply the treads, the rails, the posts, and everything else. makes my job easier later on down the road. Because I can't do this until, I, I can't finish the job until I do this. I can't even start it. Um, plus, this needs to be done because the floor, as you can see, is concrete. Um, it's getting a tile application. So this being here, the tile can't be cut around it. So I need to do this before the tile comes in. So let's get after it and I'll put you on time lapse so that, because uh, there's really nothing here to explain. Um, it's more visual of me dismantling everything. If I need to explain, I'll explain why I need to extend it out to and how far I extend it, the reason why, but when that time comes, I'll explain. Now, with these stairs, like I said, let me turn you around here. I am going to need to know where this all lines up so that I can put my post here, and it's a big post, put my big post here, and the rail will come from the big post right up to that wall. So I need to know where, how much of this I need to build out square so that my balusters will sit directly under my rail and be able to sit on top of the tread so the tread will be in the proper place. In order to do that, I have a laser level. I don't really need that right now, I don't think. What I need to know is, what I need to determine is where 
this where the rail is going to sit. And what, I, what there's going to be is there's going to be one by here. It's going to go all the way up to the ceiling or to the stop point of about midway of the window. There's going to be a one by six going all the way across and all the way through the foyer. I explained that earlier. Well, this one by, I'm going to have to 45 this corner. Let me see if I can do this with one hand here. And then this will have to be, so I've got to determine where this one on the front's going to be. There's going to be a one by here that's going to go all the way up to that ceiling. Right up there. It's going to go all the way down to the floor. So I need to know where, and this is where my rail is going to run into. It's going to dead end right into this. Somewhere, you know, wherever it, it, you know, the measurements take me. So I need to know where the center of this is, so I know where the center of that step is, where my balusters are going to sit. And then that will determine where the center of my balusters are, how far over the edge of the wood, oak wood tread's going to be. And that will give me my determination of how to frame this. I'll explain it after I build it, and you'll see. It'll all come together. And then that will match this step, the next step down. And then these two here will determine on where the last one gets cut for the, you know, big post to set, you know, be set. Because the bottom one is going to be a little bit longer than these other two. Okay. We'll figure this out. Broke out my laser level, and this, I put in this up here, I've determined on where the center of this was, which will be the center of my rail. That will be the center of my handrail going down to the post. That will also determine where all my balusters are going to set on each step. So, if I use my laser level, my laser line, that I can mark exactly where the center of everything's going to be. Now I can build off of this step over what I need for my exposure of my oak tread. Because I have to have a covering on this, which is going to be probably three quarter inch plywood or three quarter inch something. And then I'm going to have the oak tread, which overhangs each tread. I mean, the framing tread, it overhangs about an inch and a half. So I'm going to need to measure from the center of this, for the center line, over to the edge in calculation of how much room I need for an inch and a half overhang on this side. And that will determine how, you know, where my tread lands from this point on. I hope that explains everything for you. And they'll also determine on where I cut these off, you know, this here, and where I cut this off here. So, I'll get it done, and then I'll show you one side of it. This is where my ballast is going to be. And this is going to be the edge of the wall. And then the, the oak tread is going to stick an inch and a half past here. And this is all the stuff that I have to tear out. So, and this is what it's going to look like. 
before I frame it back in. All this I have to frame back in. I have to put two by fours in here, 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 frame it all in so it's a solid base so I can put a flat wall here. So everything will be all nice and flush. So it'll be a finished product when I'm done with it. The bottom one here is stepped out for to accommodate for the big post that's going to go here. It's got to give them enough room on it all, the, all around the post. So it's stepped out and then it'll be in the center of it will be in line with the, the center line here. See the center line here? That will be the center of the post. So, yep. Had to reframe it all. You can see where it all, what all I had to take out. So this will conclude this portion of it until I start uh, trimming it out. When I start trimming it out, you'll get a better understanding of what it's going to look like. So until then, Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, subscribe, press the like button, and press the notification button if you want to see more videos when they come out. Thank you, and have a good day.